Peace, family. This is Lions Day with another news and commentary. Um, I got the article from WNDU in South Bend, Indiana. Um, the owner uh, the owner of responded after customers complained South Bend Subway denies African-American boys water cups. A South Bend woman says a local subway discriminated against two African-American boys. Tuesday afternoon, Dominique Bonilla said that she went to fill her drink up at a subway on Edie Street in South Bend when a pair of boys walked in, waited in line, and politely asked for complimentary water cups that are often visible in fast food restaurants. They were, ter- they were told very hard no, and Lee Bonilla recalled. She followed the boys outside and asked them to come inside while she was asked for the manager. Even after offering to pay for the cups of water, or the cups of water. I was then told no, said Bonilla, adding the manager didn't provide a definite explanation. He said no, then he said you never know what these people, Bonilla trailed off. That's when. That's what really got me going. Bonilla noticed she asked another person inside the restaurant if the, if the at water cup was free. The response was yes. On Friday, Apresh Kuma Patel, the owner of the Edie Street Subway, issued a statement. We apologize for the confusion regarding our water cup policy because we're next to, to a high school re- regularly provide water cups to students who come in. We had considered requiring a purchase but have decided to continue giving water cups to those who ask. I will make sure that all my employees are aware of this policy. Meanwhile, a subway company spokesman states subway restaurants are independently owned and operated, so each owner set his or her own policy regarding complimentary cups. Respect for every individual is a core subway value, and we encourage franchisees to set policies that provide the best customer service to all guests. Bonilla hopes this story makes restaurants more aware of how of how word affects people. This is an opportunity, I think, for establishments to think, maybe we need to take a step back and we need to think about, think about the things, think about the things um, we are saying to other, to our customers, Benita said. She's also praised, praised the boys who did not receive water cups on Tuesday. I commend them and their parents for teaching them to be respectful and and just to handle everything with respect and dignity, she says. Bonilla purchased the boys' skater ray following the incident. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, another franchise denies service to two African American boys because of the water cups. How many times did I tell you of incidents across this country would come to franchises refusing service? You got Chili's refusing you know, African American friends for even allowing them to co- meet with the manager because they quote they call the police on them. Then another incident with, with the Waffle House, and another incident with with uh, McDonald's, and all them other incidents across this country when it comes to franchises. This is why black people we need to we need to stay away from all these franchises and focus on either cook at home or go to a black owned restaurants because obviously th- this is the perfect example right here that they refuse to black boys for having a, 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 a cup so I felt that this is ridiculous and I'm telling you that right now that obviously what we're seeing is that another example of, of another franchise refusing services because the because all because the African American boys just want just want to use their cups Maybe because they want a drink of water, or maybe when they want a, a, a drink, they need to get cups over. But at the end of the day, it says that the, the cups were free. But it also, the news clip that says that every person owned their own franchises. So whoever owns their own franchises set their own policies on any utensils, whether it's cups, um, spoons, forks, everything. So now you see another example of we as black people need to stay far away from these franchises and either cook at home or, like I said, go to a black-owned restaurant to keep our money into our pockets. That's what I'm, I mean, I'm just saying. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this article. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my reaction channel. And subscribe to my Black Johnson channel for my news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.